Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, how are you today? Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Sangbin. I'm from University of Sumatra Utara. So, at this time, I would like to tell you the story with the title Malin Kunda. Do you ever heard about the story before? So this is how the story began. So let's get ready to come back. Time call it. Have once upon a time. So once upon a time, a small village near the bridge in West Sumatra, that a woman and her son, the Malukuda and his mother. It's where as passed a woman as a baby. They were very, very good family. Because of the environment is very boring. It's an invite thoughts. To it every day. They are difficult. So many people are so hard to earn some money and help his mother. Mine was a smart kid, but a bit naughty. After growing up, he thought to make a living and he came to reside in hopes of later earning a rich home. He was already well. So he said to his mother, Mom, I have an idea. Would you let me go away to change my fortune? Who knows? I will be a rich man. As if I stay here, I will be a poor man. I want to be a rich man. So I want to go to the countryside. Please, allow me. I promise, Mom. I will come back if I'm any successful man. Promise? He said that he promised to come back if I'm any successful man? Please, be naughty. He said from his heart or not. Let's see later. So what happens to his mother? His mother was really, really sad to hear it. She was just angry with Malikuna's idea. But she finally agreed with a half a heart. And then his mother said, <coughs> Malikuna, my son, if you really want to go, I can't stop you. I can only pray to God for you to get success in life. And if you be a rich man, don't you forget about your mother and his village, son. In the countryside, Malin grew up diligently with tenacity and perseverance in work. Malin would really manage to become a wild man. He has a lot of relationship with men of more than 100 people. And then, Malin could have married a beautiful girl to be his wife. After Malikunang had loved the village with a long time, every day his mother went to the beach. It's been a long day without you, my son. And I tell you all about it when I see you again. I really miss you, my son. His mother was really, really miss her son. Day by day, Man by man, and cheer by nurse, she still went to the beach and asked the captain of the ship. Until in one night, she met the young captain and asked him, <coughs> Excuse me, sir, do you ever heard about Malikundang, my son? Malikundang? I met him some months ago. If I'm not mistaken, he had married with a beautiful girl. She's the daughter of a wild man. Said the captain. After hearing the news, she was very, very happy. She was sure Malinkuna will have written soon. But in one morning, there's a big, beautiful ship come to the village. The young couple stood at the ship. There were a beautiful clothes. They were Malinkuna and his wife. His mother recognized him and how I would say, Malinkuna! Why did he go so long with us in your years? But do you know what happens then? Man could have immediately put his mother's arms and pushed it out. Hey, boy, how dare you claim to be my mother? Don't you see? I'm a rich man, and you, you just an old, poor, and dirty one. So, man, what do you say? I'm your mother. Mani Kuna did not recognize his mother, and Grace, as his mother was old and very touchy. Is she your mother, babe? No, she was just a big girl as my mother to get my heart. His 
fuck to grab you this. You didn't have to back you to grab you this. And that, she said, won't cry. Please. You treated all body like this. God, if he's my son, good sin, good sin. Suddenly, the wind was blowing so hard, and it was strong. I thought, well, after that, why is my slowly coming? Oh my god, oh my god, what happens, Molly? Help me, Mom, Mom, help me. But it's too late. And finally, Marlin's body shared into the story. So, that's the story about Marlin and Marlin. And you know, the moral value in the story is as a children, we must respect to our parents. Because every word that our parents say is a prayer for us. And we know that the worst means it, that the heaven and we live our lives. Don't make your mind And police loves your mind. So if that's me, I'm excited. Thanks for your attention. I'm very good, children. Thank you. Bye.